Hello everyone, welcome to KD Fail Proof Kitchen. Just like the name says, Fail Proof. So hopefully after my video, everyone will be able to successfully baking the cake that you've been trying to succeed. So um, with the tips and technique in the video, you'll be able to do so. So I already preheat my oven to 350 Fahrenheit with the pan inside. I like to do it while I'm making the ingredients. So let's get started, okay? All right. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna start with our wet ingredients after we put the pan in the oven right now for preheating at the 50 Fahrenheit. Um, you wanna use coconut milk, um, any brand that you like. So I happen to have this here, so I'm gonna use this one here. It's about 400 ml of the coconut milk. So if you have, you can just use 400 ml. And I'm using about one cup and a third of um, granulated sugar, just regular granulated sugars. If you like the sweeter, you can use one and a half cups. So I'm gonna pour in here. So we wanna mix this one first. I'm gonna stir it up here. After we mix this up, the volume of the coconut milk will increase, so that gives us more liquid to mix with our uh, dry ingredients. in about one teaspoon of the um, pendant flavor so I use this brand it's pretty good it doesn't give you the bitterness taste if you have um, the fresh pendant leaf you can also use it as well and you just have to add it in oopsie so here Go ahead and give us a stir here. So once the uh, sugar and the coconut cream are all blend in, we can set this aside and we're gonna start with our um, eggs, okay? So I'm gonna put this aside for now. So we're gonna prepare our eggs. So I put at room temperature for like an hour or two. Um, this is the crucial part here. I'm gonna show you that how you can successfully have a lot of honeycomb structure and this very area is this step right here. So the first step is just we're gonna crack. We only need six eggs for this recipe here. So try not to break your um, eggs, your oops. <laughs> There, so. So we're gonna use the just a regular scissor and we're gonna cut the egg yolk in like a pie shape pie. So we're gonna cut the egg yolk in half and another half. So that will be like a pie. So just in four. Alright, so that's it. I'm gonna leave this aside before we um, add into our, our ingredients. We're gonna put this aside, okay? 
So for our dry ingredients, we will be uh, needing the corn, the tapioca starch. So I'm using about 425 tapioca starch here. So you can measure if you have the bags. But this one that come pre-packed, so I'm going to use this one here. Okay, and uh, we will go ahead and add um, some salt in and uh, baking powder. So I use about two tablespoons of baking powder. So the second tip I want to let you know, so a lot of people are worried about the what kind of baking powder to use that will help rice. So any, any kind of baking powder is fine. It should be double acting and if you don't like the metallic taste, you can use the aluminum free. So it will not give you that kind of like metallic taste. So I'm going to add in here two tablespoons of baking um, powder. So one and two. So any store brand of double acting baking powder should work. I try a few and it's all does the same for me. Okay, so we're going to add some salt in it. So we will need one fourth teaspoon of um, salt in. And we're gonna give it a little bit stir here. If you like to um, the cake to be less chewy, you can add the rice flour in, which I will put in the recipe for optional. So now this one is ready. We will go ahead and add in our wet ingredients that we used earlier. So we're going to pour it in, okay? Give us a little mix up here. So at this step, it's okay for us to um, blend it in very well. I'm gonna need this whisk here to speed up the process for us. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty smooth now. So we will add in our eggs. Side here. So for our eggs, we're gonna add in vanilla extracts here. So I'll add about half a tablespoon. And once you put the eggs in this batter here, you don't want it to uh, put in here. Stir it too much because 
the more action you put on the eggs, it reduces that um, honeycomb structure. So therefore, I don't. After you put it in, you're gonna use a spoon here and just kind of give it a stir. Try to blend it in. And as you see, you can still see some of the egg yolks here. That's okay. We then, it should be okay. Just let it be. We're going to add into our um, filtered out. Okay, so we're going to add in our batter here. Kind of try to shift it out. So we still have some of the egg white left. We're gonna help a little bit to get down. We just do this motion here. we um, scoop it out so some of the egg white left like this that's okay. we can just discard it give it a little nice stir here gently and I'm going to add in one tablespoon of the canola oil you can use coconut oil if you like, or butter. So one tablespoon in. And give us another stir here. Very gently. So I like to let this batter sit outside for about five minutes at least, five to six, seven minutes to let the baking powder um, go into actions here, react, so we can get a higher red rice um, with this. And we're gonna leave this aside and we're gonna check out our pan in the oven, okay? All right, so I just took out the pan from the oven. It was preheating in the oven for 350 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, so it's kind of hot right now. So I'm gonna spray with the pan spray. You don't have to use pan spray. You don't like the flavor or the taste of it. You can use coconut oil or even avocado spray. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of spray here to keep that golden and not sticky. So you're gonna get a little brushed. And go ahead and uh, put in the batter that has already um, been sitting out for more than five minutes. So I'm gonna pour in here. So I like to give it a circular motion here so it's even better. This helps us not getting a lopsided cakes.
so pour in here like this cast the last strip all right I'll put it there all right here okay so and i'm going to need a fork here the last step is to give a little stir a little bit swirl gently here to kind of like keep it even so you don't have a lopsided cakes here and now it's ready i'm going to put this into the oven for 350 degree uh, um, fahrenheit for 55 minutes after 55 minutes um, i'm going to turn off the oven and let it sit inside for another 20 minutes and with the door um, oven door partially open okay so like um about one big gap like this from the door okay so just leave it open so let's put into the oven and all right guys here's our cake i just took it out from the oven after it rests in there for 20 um, minutes with the partial um, oven door open here so we're going to flip it over okay and see how it bakes in here all right it's on top here all right guys so look this is our cakes right here look how beautiful and proportionally um, it turned out okay so i'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes let it cool down before we cut it open i know the temptation is really hard we just want to cut it right open to see how it is but wait you have to wait for 10 minutes let it cool down and then so i'm gonna cut and show you guys okay so all right all right guys so i uh, let this cake been sitting out resting for 10 minutes already so it's kind of cooled down already so it's ready to be cut okay so let's just cut one piece to show how it look inside okay are you excited because i'm super excited okay so let's just um cut one piece here open okay so let's see how it looks inside and look at that is that gorgeous you see all this like honeycomb structure like um so it make it very airy so it's not like a uh, dense clumps together so look how um you know like flexible it is very chewy um not so chewy but it's like um it still have that you know bending so it's a perfect texture for this particular um, honeycomb cakes so it's so pretty so pretty okay so so i would say this is a very successful um you know cake right here um so hopefully after my video you also will be able to have make this beautiful cakes as well and without the techniques and tips i uh, put out through the video hopefully it helps you okay so if you like my channel you like what i do please subscribe to my channel on the bottom here hit subscribe and hit the bell for more video coming up okay thank you so much for watching katie um, fail proof kitchens have a good one thank you so much bye bye